My monster isn't scary. I have a monster that lives in my basement. But he's not a scary monster. He's a grumpy monster. It's time for breakfast. The grumpy monster poured a bowl of his favorite cereal. But we've run out of milk, now he can't have his cereal. That made the grumpy monster very grumpy. How can we cheer him up? I know, we'll take him to the beach. That always cheers me up. Oh no, the sand is very hot today. It's burning the grumpy monster's feet. <laughs> we only have two feet to burn, but the grumpy monster has six. Oh. Quick, sit on your towel. Isn't that better, grumpy monster? Don't you feel less grumpy now? But as I spoke, a big seagull flew past and took a big poop on the grumpy monster's head. <laughs> Now he's even grumpier. I know what will cheer him up. A cone of mint choc chip ice cream, his favorite. But as I handed the cone to the grumpy monster, an even bigger seagull flew past and took an even bigger poop right in the middle of his ice cream. <laughs> These seagulls are making him a very grumpy monster. Don't worry. Don't worry about the ice cream. Let's go build a sandcastle. The grumpy monster built a very good sandcastle. He was starting to feel less grumpy until a whole flock. <laughs> of the biggest seagulls you've ever seen flew past and took the biggest poops you've ever seen all over the Grumpy Monster's sandcastle. But before he got a chance to get grumpy about it, an enormous wave pushed down on top of it and his sandcastle. Uh oh. This will make the grumpy monster very grumpy. <laughs> I know what I'll do. I got the grumpy monster an ice cream cone that was seven scoops tall. Oh. Even the grumpy monster couldn't be grumpy now that he had so much of his favorite ice cream. Better take your cone back to the basement so the seagulls don't get you again. That's it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.